armor, this sleeping bag is the most important four pounds you'll ever carry. It's an Arctic sleeping bag that can keep you warm and dry even if the temperature dips to 40 below zero. But how can such a lightweight sleeping bag keep you warm in such bitter cold? All that lightweight warmth starts with a special nylon fabric that's cut to make the protective outer shell of the sleeping bag. This is no ordinary nylon. The white backing on it is actually a tough membrane made of the same material that puts the no-stick surface on cooking pans. When the coating is applied to the nylon, it makes it both windproof and waterproof. But even without the added protection of the membrane, nylon is ideal for camping equipment because it's durable, breathable, and ultra lightweight. To cut the nylon into each part of the sleeping bag, it's pulled off a roll and cut into sheets that are piled up in stacks of 20 so the pieces for 20 sleeping bags can be cut out at once. The cutting is done with a tool that works like a jigsaw you'd use in woodworking. It's easy to maneuver around the patterns while the blade moves up and down to cut out the various pieces. These red pieces will be sewn together into the top of the bag shell. Matching pieces are also cut out of black nylon for the bottom because it doesn't show dirt as easily. The nylon alone will keep you dry, but won't keep you warm. So the backside of every piece is marked with a pencil to map out where the liner will be stitched to make pockets of insulation called baffles. The baffles will keep the insulation that's stuffed into the liner from shifting around and bulking up in some spots, leaving other parts of the bag with little or no insulation. Once the layout is marked, workers stitch together strips of tight nylon mesh to make the pockets or baffles that line the bag's outer shell and hold the insulation. This type of mesh is called no seam netting. It gets its name because the openings in the mesh are so small, even tiny no seam bugs can't fit through them to get inside the sleeping bag. The mesh is stitched together using strong polyester thread and a special needle with a rounded tip instead of a point. A pointed needle would pierce the nylon and leave weak spots in the shell. The rounded tip works by separating the threads in the nylon so the thread can fit through a natural opening. Once the netting is stitched together, it's sewn to the back side of the bag's nylon shell using the same rounded needle and polyester thread. When the netting is finished, the parts of the sleeping bag are sewn together. First, a draw cord is sewn into the hood section of the bag, so it can be pulled tight around your head, like the hood on a hoodie to keep you warm. Then, all the pieces of the nylon shell are assembled. A heavy-duty six-foot-long zipper is sewn down one side of the bag. Like the rest of the bag, the zipper is made of nylon, because a metal zipper could freeze in bitter cold temperatures. Finally, a roomy foot section is sewn onto the end of the bag with space for extra insulation to keep your feet and toes toasty warm. The insulation is made of goose down, which is the soft undercoating beneath the feathers on a goose. It's warmer, lighter, and easier to roll up and compress than any other insulation. To get it into the sleeping bag, the down is sucked up by a vacuum hose and then shot into the sleeping bag with a reverse vacuum to fill each of the baffles. When it's all fluffed up, the down traps heat from your body inside the sleeping bag to keep you warm. The more fluff or loft in the down, the more heat it can trap. It takes two and a half pounds of down to fill all the baffles in the bag enough down to give the baffles between five and six inches of loft. When all the baffles are stuffed full, the openings for the down are stitched shut. Workers blow off any pieces of down stuck to the outside. Then, all the puffiness in the bag has to be wrestled down to about a third of its loft so the bag can be rolled up and ready to go for your next outdoor adventure. I aim on a hot air balloon. 